What's happening with it, y'all? Welcome to my little show. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, I'm back up in this thing. You did. Um, so I was thinking today, I was like, okay, um, fashion, you know, black people love to like rock fashion, you know what I'm saying? So I bought like this, um, polo outfit today. I wore it on the beach. I'll show it to y'all. It's a, um, and I was thinking, like, I bought this outfit, right? You see polo, it's like some beach shorts. Polo shirt, you feel me? And I was thinking, like, um, I was remember, like, Boosie said, like, that he rocked Coogee, but he never got paid for it. And it's like, you know, when I think about it, it's like that we go, we go spend, but for years and years and years, even some of our like, for years and years and years, we have, we have, let's say, soul drugs, majority, that's what our majority of the money comes from to even do this but we have sold drugs just to go take the money and buy a $70 shirt a fucking $80 pair of pants and a $150 pair of shoes and if a nigga that uh 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 classy a motherfucker or buy a $20 pair of socks to go with it oh my god don't talk about a cap $35 so that's like rent and we don't, and what's so crazy about it is the people who can afford to do this walk around in Walmart. The people who can't afford to do it is living in a motherfucking shack and fucking and and and, and um and doing this and buying all this designer and shit. Just like our black women, they they love the uh Birkin bags and you know whatever comes out that costs like three four hundred dollars, they gotta have it. And all this shit is made and owned by the 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 uh the Caucasians, the white people. So it's like you know, I, I go in a lot of stores like yesterday I went in the store and uh you know they got secret shoppers and shit. And it's like they see black people and they like, oh yeah, he's still he's still so the lady was like, it was like a strip mall. So I had bought some shit out of one mall and I went in the other mall with the bags that I had bought from the other store instead of taking them to the car. I was like, shit, I'm not going to go to the car and then come back. I'm, I took the bags in there. So when I went in there and bought some shit, this lady was like, so are you going to um, pay for the stuff that you put in the bag? And I was like, I, I immediately, man, I don't have no time to argue with nobody no more, man. I immediately went in the motherfucking bag motherfucker showed her that I ain't got all this shit did not come from your store and I got receipts for this shit you know what I'm saying and then she sit there for a minute then she was like okay and she walks off right but I'm not mad at the lady the clerk because the clerk was doing with the secret shoppers and if you know they man no matter if they got white I didn't see it on like YouTube no matter if they got white or black black is the worst white is just gonna see a nigga and say he's stealing but black motherfuckers is going to see up, is going to motherfucking call laws. You can show them you ain't steal shit. Them motherfuckers going to call laws. So it's like, man, we are like so terrible on each other. Like, we got the white man, the Mexican. We got all these motherfuckers double teaming us. And then what's so, what's the key to getting in is we got our own kind that's fucking doing this shit too. You know what I'm saying? So... What I did, uh, like last week, right? I went in my closet on, on, on everything I love. I went in my closet. I grabbed all the shit that I had bought over the years that was like name brand. And I took it and, and I was thinking, you know what? I should just give this away to the poor. But I'm thinking, what, what use, what sense would it make for me to not wear a designer? And then go give it to the poor and let the poor wear it and model. Because all you're doing is modeling for the the Caucasian. So another black man be like, man, that nigga look fly with them J's on. I'm going to go buy me a pair of J's because I want to look like him. You know what I'm saying? And they not paying you. That's why like Boosie was saying, oh man, I rock Coogee. They never paid me. They never paid you because you did it for free, which he knows this. He knows he did it for free. He went and spent his money and, and styled it 
and modeled it for this company and made all this money for this company and these people ain't never thought, man, let me get this man a check for doing this. Because white people feel like they don't have to pay black people because the stuff that they have, the stuff that they feel that, that they should have to pay black people for, black people are too eager to buy it and do it for free. So, I mean, to be honest, Like I said before, black people are some of the dumbest people on the planet Earth. Without black people, the Earth wouldn't even run right. I'm gonna be honest. The Earth wouldn't even run right if, if there was no black people. And you gotta think about it. Go look at Animal Kingdom for a minute. I always said this. Go look at Animal Kingdom. You see a pack of cheetahs or a pack of lions. Man, them motherfuckers can't even talk. Them motherfuckers dumb as hell, but them motherfuckers know how to get together, make a, a border or whatever they make, and they attack their food, and they all sit down and eat, and they let the kids come and eat first. When they kill whatever they kill, they let the kids eat, and then when the kids get full, then, man, that, that's an animal that, and that's an animal that can think of how to eat together. He, an animal know I can't eat by myself. I'm going to have to go get with these other tigers or these other cheetahs or these other whatever. And we're going to have to double team some and eat it. Okay? And we got to feed the kids first. Now, if an animal know this, and you got black people who's supposed to be able to think and breathe and live on their own. And, and they not doing this. They, they are fucking, man, you know how many times that I have tried to help people and these motherfuckers was working against me. And I'm like, come on, bro. I, I thought you said you was hungry. I thought you said you needed some money to feed your kids. You just gave the ball away. You didn't fumble it. You, I watched you throw that motherfucker down and walk off. So that's why white people and other nationalities look at us like we below animals. They call us an animal because there ain't nothing else that can compare to our ignorance. You know what I'm saying? You have Ku Klux Klan members on TV blatantly thanking black people for killing other black people. Man, we have, black people have killed more black people than I, I think any white supremacy group have ever killed. We are our own enemy. And I'm going to tell you another thing. You can look this up. Why is it that white people are the first people to fight for civil rights of black people. Ain't that a shame? White people, look it up. White people have fought for civil rights harder than black people ever have. That's stupid. White people from the beginning of time have what what's going on? The ride and all that shit. White people was the first one that did that for us. And why they doing that for us? We riding around killing each other. We riding around hating on each other. We riding around talking about each other. We riding around fucking each other's gals and shit. And the women is really the main blame. But if you notice, the woman is just like the white man. She know how to com com commit. She know how to create chaos and get out the way and blame it on somebody else. That's how you know that, that the black woman is working with the white man because all of these drugs are, are being put out and have been put out for years by the black woman. And then when it comes time to blame it on somebody, blame it on her nigga. I call the police on that nigga, and he got he's selling my dope that he don't even know that he's selling. You know, black women are the blame because of the fact that you created us. I didn't ask the motherfucker to be in this bullshit. You brought me here and just left me and then teach me shit and just abandoned me. And went on and I called you and said, hey, mom, can I get $100 for my rent? Oh, shit. You, you know what my mom told me one time? This, this what made me so independent where I get my own, man. I called my mom. I said, Mom, I need a hundred dollars to pay my rent. My mom told me, you a grown man, you supposed to have a job. Now, motherfucker, now I'm gonna tell you another thing. No, I'm a non-felon. 
why why am I being put on on getting a job like a felon? So I realized it don't matter if a black man is a felon or not. That's just an excuse not to give you a job. Because I don't even have no felony or no criminal history. And I haven't been employed so long. I employed my motherfucking self and, and built whatever the fuck I built. Because I realize these bitches is not going to give me a job. And if they do give me a job, they're going to fire me the next week. When they find out that I'm not an ass can see, they only want to hire house niggas. They don't want no real nigga, because a real nigga not going to, man, listen. One thing about black people, man, they don't mind they business. If you hired to be a cashier, you can't be the cashier in the security, too. You can't be that motherfucker rock walking around talking about, oh, shit, man, that motherfucker over there stealing. Because guess what? You only pay $7 an hour to be a cashier, and you're going to go do a fucking, you're going to go do $26 worth of work an hour. Because to be a security guard and a cashier at the same time is like a 26-hour job. $26 hour. $26, $26 an hour job. I'll be right back. And you mean to tell me that a black person, male and female, will go do that job for free. Will go motherfucking and will never tell on a white person. We'll never tell on a white person. They see a motherfucking white person stealing, they gon' they gon' ask, they gon' open the door for that motherfucker. If a white man drop his wallet full of money, they gon' motherfucking they gon' pick that bitch up and not gonna take a dollar out of it. But if, but if we drop five dollars, man, fuck that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Man, like black people are morons. Like we are fucking stupid as hell. We let four we let four old ass white people on the motherfucking cane. Goddamn beat, rape, and, and murder our motherfucking ass for years, for centuries and shit. Man, we, you can't tell me a black man ain't the dumbest motherfucker. A black man and a black woman ain't the dumbest motherfucker you ever met in your motherfucking life. That's why I say I'm not black, I'm Indian. That's why I say I'm not black, I'm Indian, nigga. And Indians dumber than a motherfucker too, because I've been down there with they motherfucking ass. They dumb as shit too. They dumber than the black man, shit. And they can't dance. They still, they dance like, they ain't got no rhythm. I be like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, baby. Hold up, hold up, baby. You look like me. You hair good, though. But you like your nap because you want to be like a nigga. But your ass ain't no nigga because your ass ain't got no rhythm. But that's why I say I'm not black, yo. Because I'm ashamed to even say I'm black. I'm ashamed to say I'm black because motherfucking black people are the dumbest motherfuckers. Man, you let motherfucking four white people and, 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 and include women in the four motherfucking beat and rape and got, man, make make black people take another black man to the whipping pole. Ain't that a bitch? And then they tell you, same shit go on today. Y'all working on a motherfucking job. Motherfucker pull up, black man pull up, he feel like being good to the niggas and say, hey man, y'all want to get in, man, we gonna just chill for an hour, we ain't gonna even work. He being cool. But that's the same motherfucker, this nigga call and say, hey man, fire this nigga, or get him fired today. He gonna do it. Man, it is too many of us here to be letting anybody punk us. It's too many of us, man. That's like that's like me going in a room of fifty motherfucking people, and and, and before uh, the before tomorrow, I got them motherfuckers being slaves. I'm raping their women, raping their kids. And they just sitting there watching me like, oh, this just the way it is. This just the way it is. And then they'll tell you a lie. Y'all yeah, gotta go. They'll tell you a lie. I'm gonna say this though. They'll tell you a lie. And tell you, oh, oh, and if you want to get anything, you got to work hard for it. But they ain't worked a day in their motherfucking life, man. I'm up out of here, yo. Man, y'all be cool.